I believe that Montanans, regardless of party, regardless of where they're from, regardless of what they do, deserve to have this beautiful place that we all love so much. Montana has a tradition of experiencing the outdoors, loving nature, and at the same time, a fossil fuel industry that is pushing in the other direction. It will go down in history as the first ever constitutional climate trial. There's, there's a big weight and responsibility that comes with that. Not every state has a right to a clean and healthful environment in their constitution. It's not about the government being wrong or these people being evil. It's about changing a, an unhealthy pattern of behavior that's harming Montana's people. This trial is barely about our generation right now. We know it's about our futures, but it's about future generations too. We're fighting for them, not just us. All these 16 youth plaintiff heroes are courageously leading us, speaking truth to power. They are here to save us from ourselves because we, my friends, are handing them a mess. I'm trying to protect this environment um, for future generations to come. You know, it's really scary to see what you care for disappear right in front of your eyes. Uh, it's a photo of our property when the uh, smoke has come into the valley and you can't see the mountains. It's horrifying. I think every single one of us is here because we care about the future and we want a future where our kids and our grandkids can grow up and be proud of what we did. We didn't shrink in the face of this threat. We stepped up to it. I, I just think it's like a beautiful thing that all of us love Montana in different ways, and I want the judge to realize that more than anything. I don't know if I can live in Bozeman or in the other towns in Montana that I know and love because of the uncertainty that they'll even exist in the same way that they do to me now, that they will in the future. Like, every time I come back home, it just feels so real, and I don't know how to explain it, but um, there's just cycles of life going on here, and it's not just on paper. I think a lot of us working on this trial felt a huge responsibility to, to do it right. Governments are required to abide by the Constitution, and I think what that means on the ground is we'll start seeing governments you know, implement these rulings. And, and that means moving away from fossil fuels and moving towards renewable energy systems.